quite some German watches here on the channel in the last weeks and this little series will end now for let's say a month or two but the last watch I must show you because it's pretty impressive and it demonstrates what a single man can do. Meet the lion. Welcome to Casebag Watches, my name is Tim and in this video I'd like to present you the Heinrich Taucher 2 or Heinrich Taucher 2 GMT. Taucher means diver in German and the, the predecessor, the Heinrich Taucher 2, I had already here on the channel. And first, when I first heard the news that this watch is available, I thought Heinrich? The German name Heinrich sounds for modern ears like something very, very old and a bit, yeah, a bit old folk, old folky, like the old folk from next door. But in fact, it was the name for kings and other very, very powerful people. And Wolfgang Heinrich, the founder of Heinrich Watches, knows this, of course. And so he created a very cool logo. There I thought the first time, wow, that's something here. And then the watch arrived and I could see that he stuffed it with good thinking, good decisions, good specs. The watch, the Heinrich Teure 2, looked special, not copied, bit quirky, also the dimensions, extremely tough. And so I thought, you know what, it's not exactly my genre number one, but I really have to value all the effort and and, and the capability to do something like that. And now let's check it out. Let's check it out if it's convincing or not, or if we find it lousy or boring or great. Let's just check it out. All right, let's start with the basics, with the specifications, measurements, ingredients, and everything that's inside this watch. We have here a case diameter of 41 millimeters, which indicates a rather large watch. But the length, lug to lug, is only 42, so it's almost a circle and so wearable for, I would say, nearly every wrist. We have a height of 14 millimeters and a lug width, although hard to state because it's kind of integrated here, of 22 millimeters. 22 millimeters. So we have a bold watch, but again, thanks to the rather small length, very, very wearable. And this is a box shape sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating, as you can see. Very nice. And then we have a screw down crown and the watch is waterproof up to 200 meters. So definitely a usable piece of equipment here. And inside we find the Celita SW330-2 Elabore with that GMT function. There you see the orange GMT hand. And this watch will be available in black, blue and silver. This is the black dial and the price is 1199 euros or the same, roughly the same amount in US dollars because you don't have to pay your VAT. Okay, let's start with the dial here with a typical Heinrich Taucher dial. You have these rather conservative indices, the date on position six in that, in that window there. And you have a nice color play between that black and with the orange accent. And here we have this, this, this ring, the, the 24 hour ring, of course, for the GMT. And you have a bezel with a ceramic insert and unidirectional 120 clicks. And I want to begin operating this, this watch with the bezel because it feels so good. Absolutely great. Can you hear this? Feels precise and somewhat oily not scratchy and so it's just a pleasure to operate this alignment is okay very nice alignment is all right and when i turn the watch around by the way you see that there's a structure on the dial these squares there engraved square a bit like latitude and longitude on the globe so nice detail that underlines of course the gmt function which is very handy when you travel from time zone to time zone and now we have to use, of course, this massive crown, very big, very rough, very easy to operate. Of course, it's not super elegant, but I mean, the entire watch is not super elegant. We're in the, in the realm of equipment here. So let's unscrew the crown. And now it provides hand winding. Position two is for the hands. There you see that the GMT hand follows nicely. Position one now, clockwise, is for the GMT hand. 
there you can set the hand in small increments and the other way around is for the quick set of the date. There you go. Very simple and functional. Very nice. And the thread here feels good. Everything in order. So this is our watch head with the typical look of a Heinrich Taucher. See for example these waveforms here. Drill lug holes by the way. But what other strap can you fit in here? I think you only can use this watch with this type of strap or bracelet. The bracelet itself is very interesting because it has some, uh, some texture really to look at. It's a bit like a fabric because you have all these tiny links. And I've altered this bracelet heavily and this worked fine with screws. So no problem at all. You have a rather large clasp with the Heinrich logo. Grew on me, absolutely. The lion, King's lion. Brushed. See that? The entire thing is brushed. Which matches, of course, the rather rustic case. And here you have a diver extension. Very simple. Like this. You can just push the buttons and then you have a bit more room so that you can wear the watch over a wetsuit. And other way around, it's very simple. You can just push it together and you're good to go. Open the clasp, but there you go. Simple, without decoration, functional, very small tolerances. I must say I like this bracelet. Again, it's not super elegant, but it's it feels right. There's this saying from engineers, when something looks right, in most cases then it is right, and this absolutely looks right here. Case back. There you go with some nice engravings, hard to show of course, some scratches because this is a worn watch prototype for testing and finding out things and so not brand new. All right, and now let's put it on the wrist. And there you go, 41 millimeter case diameter on a 17 centimeter wrist. Absolute the maximum I can wear, but you see the length works. And of course, this in a wide room is not perfect, but imagine this really in the ocean, on the beach, on the shore. I think this could be a very, very nice acquisition. And of course, bold look, very dominant, big presence on the wrist. Welcome back. This was the Heinrich Taucher 2. This is correct German. Sometimes I mix this Heinrich Taucher 2, Heinrich Taucher 2. It's strange. It's difficult. But okay, let's stay with difficult things. <laughs> no, kidding. I have a nice image to show you and with a great watch. This comes from Richard from Cornwall and he ordered at casebackwatches.com a caseback watch strap number one with a golden clasp. And this is extremely rare and I always, I'm always curious what kind of watch does the person pair with with this with this golden clasp and I think I, I said that on camera one or two times and so Richard sent me this image here with this lovely Oris pointer date and this is the reference 7463C and believe it or not I owned that watch too and I gave it as a present to La Madame and she loves it and I love it because it's such a beauty with that 18 karat gold bezel you see there. Absolute stunning watch and it demonstrates that this unisex watch is not exactly a modern term. I think back then they didn't market the watch as unisex but in fact it is. It is looks gorgeous on men and on women. Absolutely. And so Richard, thank you very much for sending this in. And dear viewer, if you want to participate here, if you want to submit images and wristies and let's say some sites from your area, then feel free to use casebackwatches at iCloud.com. And now we're at the end of this video. It was a pleasure as always. Let me thank you very much for your attention and until next time.